my name is Miranda and today I'm here to react to the first episode of season two of Cruel Summer. Now look, I consider myself a pretty in the know person when it comes to pop culture, right? I find shows somehow, I hear about them and I check them out. For some reason, Cruel Summer, I just completely missed the boat on season one. Like I saw people talking about it and talking about like the crazy twists and especially the big twist at the end and like on the edge of their seat trying to figure it out. And I don't know why, but I just never bothered to check it out. I, I literally don't know why the mystery sounds amazing. The dual triple timeline is right up my alley and I love Olivia Holt. So like it was a trifecta of things and I feel like I was just completely left out of that, of my own making, but just completely left out. So like I really wanted to get in to the second season. It's an anthology series, which I don't think a lot of people were expecting. So this means all new characters, which is good for me because I can just jump right into season two. And that means a big new mystery. So the premise is kind of set up similarly in that there's gonna be three different timelines that are kind of close together, but obviously the characters are going to be very different during those three timelines and we're going to be trying to put together the pieces of how from where we start in the middle to the end how it all came together conclusively so I am super excited to check this out and yeah I'm hoping it's as good as the first season and that I can have my little my cruel summer moment that I missed out on in season one still so disappointed in myself for that so yeah let's check it out that computer sound is very satisfying I'm going to tell you right now the like tip 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 Ooh, I like the little, like, it just feels like PowerPoint S, but I like it. The little, like, 1999 summer. Oh, here's the next one. Okay, so this one's only, like, six months, five months later, right? I don't even know you, and I'm proud for you. That's not going to age well, I feel like. I can already tell. Two weeks? I want to go to school where you go. Do you think you're two weeks off a break? This is not fair. Is this what the 90s was like? Because I want to go back to it, okay? Summer 2000. This is going to be her grunge era. I saw the preview of like totally different. I just like how they're like, how can we make her look totally different? Goth era. And the, the costume designer and makeup department was like, we got you. We understand and we got you. Uh-oh. Who are they looking for? Yeah, I would be kind of mad if I had to move out of my trailer so she could go in. Even though I thought she lived in her trailer, but now I'm realizing that I think it was just like an extra music place for her to chill. But I still feel like the new girl should get a bedroom like in the house, right? Because if I was also moving somewhere and they were like, yeah, you're going to stay outside in a trailer, I would be like, um, I'd feel more safe in a house <laughs> just till I learn the area, if that makes sense. Hmm, you're gonna wish you did that in about a year's time, I'll tell you that. Again, stuff that's not, you know what, at this point, just take a shot every time that there's something that uh, is not gonna age well in a year's time. Um, I don't mean to pick on this man either because I did just meet him, but I'm looking at this water and he said this is perfect water for snorkeling. Um, I thought snorkeling was like crystal clear water. I think this is supposed to be like, I would assume somewhere on the East Coast, right? Maybe like Maine or something. You don't go snorkeling in Maine. Like that's not the water for snorkeling ever. Okay, bud? Ah, so they are a couple in the future. I love the like, it's not sepia. But what kind of filter would you call that to denote that it's like winter? <laughs> and also like the future. Okay. Oh my gosh, is she like rich? <laughs> like I, she pulled up in a limo and that man is pulling out multiple bags. I know she's living there for a year, but multiple luxurious bags. I feel like she's rich. What is she doing now? I don't even know what kind of hacking you could do back in the day. Like I'm trying to picture it because I'm sure you could. It's on a floppy disk, of course. And like, I'm sure you could, but I'm like, is she hacking grades? Is she hacking into the sheriff's department? Like, what is she doing in this seedy alley building that like now she's doing hacking stuff for money, I guess. I also love that she's supposed to not be rich. I'm getting is the vibe. And yet like her room and house is huge and she has not one, but two monitors in the 19, well, I guess this is the 2000 now, but like, back then like that was I feel like two monitors wasn't a common thing until like three years ago when Twitch started getting big you know open it <laughs> everyone's waiting 
Grave questions. Okay, I'm sure that will be meaningful somehow. And if she's into mysteries, maybe she'll know how to cover one up if something does happen. Awkward. I mean, again, awkward. But I feel like from the her point of view, it's like you're a stranger in my house. So like maybe, but also too far, too far. I'll admit that. But I could just see where she's like, I got to check this girl. I know nothing about her. You can't look her up online. There is no online. There's barely an online. Oh, they're all not getting along like they used to. Okay, they're definitely not getting along. Wow. Um, are you the mother? I'm confused about what's happening. Like, why did she step up all of a sudden? This is interesting. And why is the mom so quiet? Like, I feel like she was not before at all. And now she's just like, okay, whatever you say. I'm so excited to see how this friendship develops because she wants nothing to do with her right now. Absolutely nothing. And now she's like, you are the best friend I've ever had. And it'll be interesting to see. I fully believe it because like that's teenage girls friendships, right? It's like one moment you hate each other, the next like you would do anything for them. Like I feel like they're capturing that so well. It's definitely clear that she's stepping outside of like her little bubble with her and doing more stuff that she wouldn't before. I do appreciate that each like timeline has its very own like distinct filter look to it so I can tell when it is before even seeing like the characters. I appreciate that. It kind of immerses you in it I feel like and also makes you kind of feel like more of what the time is right. Like this seems more like gritty grungy whereas winter feels like more like bleak and you know it's just interesting. Oh of course the picture and the name are missing. Who is it? Is it Luke or Isabella? Hmm. That makes me think him because it seems to think that she's responsible for something. Oh my gosh. Is that not the claw they just walked in? Is this the same set from Nancy Drew? Like that's the exact same setup. The windows, even like, wait, that's quick. That's got to be the Nancy Drew set. I've got to look this up. Hold, hold the front door. Hold the presses. Nancy Drew set. Cool. Summer. It is! Paul, that's so funny. It uses the claw restaurant. That's It looks exactly the same. So maybe it does take place in Maine because I'm pretty sure Nancy Drew takes place in Maine too. Oh, that's crazy. That makes me so happy that like even when Nancy's done, the set might live on in other iterations. Oh, that really, that makes me feel like this show's gonna be really good. Hmm. Well, it seems like a very pointed thing that they made sure to point out. Interesting. I feel like I'm gathering all these clues in my mind, but half of them probably aren't clues. They're just red herrings or things that happen. <laughs> Should the cop be saying that? <laughs> like, oh, you got this, girl. It's like, okay, thanks, but maybe ask, um, is everything okay? <laughs> Well, you know her too well, Luke. You know her too well. I'm Luke. Who does that? I, I'm Luke. He's a rich boy. I can tell. Hmm. Do we really think so? That's another clue I'm storing away. Why is he hanging out with the cop all the time? This is awkward. Like, the three of them together is very awkward. I feel like she's jealous, but then, like, he doesn't even realize it. Yeah, she definitely is sensing a vibe between them that she doesn't like, but she doesn't have to worry about it theoretically since we know that she ends up with him, but now one of them might be missing, so I don't know what that means. My gosh, she's speeding through there. Girl, your car can't handle that. It's a, it's a 1995 convertible. Slow down. You're gonna hit a tree. Oh, you better pick that up or the cops are gonna find that. That's interesting. That's a license for Isabella, but it said Pat. It wasn't her name. Scraping blood? Uh, honey, what took you so long to get to this? Because if someone's been missing for a while, presumably the blood has been there for a while. It's for whoever is missing. Also, like, first of all, you're going to need a lot more bleach than that. And second of all, you're going to need some Febreze after because it's just going to smell like bleach. And people are going to be like, I know what bleach cleans up, so... Why would she go now? Because it seems like presumably she knew that was there the whole time and just now she's like, I have to clean it up. Like, you should probably just burn that place down. It's probably honestly easier. 
Aw, that's nice. I kind of thought, honestly, that none of her friends really liked her. <laughs> but that was sweet, and, like, it really meant a lot to her, you can tell. Um, what was that, honestly? Actually, good question. Oh, yeah, wait for him to make eye contact with you. That's, that's really great. I feel like she wants to talk to him because of the coding stuff, but it's like, he, no. Does that look like someone we should be talking to right now? No, it doesn't. Yeah, they definitely found someone, but who's it gonna be? Him or her? Like, that's what I'm so curious about. Me screaming, who is it? Who is it? Okay, I feel really bad asking this because this is like the third time, but is that her mom? <laughs> I feel like I'm convincing myself that it's her mom, and then I'm like, yeah, that's her mom. And then I'm like, wait, no, that's not her mom. Because her mom seems to have a nice job, so why are they like struggling to pay bills from the start? Is it her mom or is it not her mom? This is the biggest mystery that's not even supposed to be a mystery. Well, I hate to break it to you, girl, but I got a crystal ball and it's about to be like that, so. Aw, that can't be that surprising, right? Like, you guys have known each other for so long. I love an accidental, I love you blurred out. Like, it's just, I always think it's the most romantic thing ever. When it's just like, you're just like looking at someone and you're like, I love you. Like, ugh, it's just so cute. It's so funny because if this was just the 1999 summer where he's like, you're not the best at letting people in and then knowing like it becomes one of her best friends, you'd be like, wow, this is great. This is such character development. And then knowing what happens after, you're like, wait, maybe you shouldn't have pushed her into this. Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, okay. Interesting. I wonder how long this flirtation goes on and when and how it changes the other two getting together. It's also like, she says she's not interested, but maybe like, can you pick any of the other guys that aren't the best friend of the host that you're staying with like that could that just be a thing just perhaps that we do you don't go after that one guy out of the many but she's saying it's fine even though it's clearly not so i wonder if isabel is going to realize that and then kind of push them together and like you know that's another way that she can be like wow you got us together like i appreciate you so much I swear if they put It's a Wonderful Life on, this will tell me all I need to know about who the dad is. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm ready for it. Also the fact that they're definitely somewhere in New England and they don't have their pool clothes for the winter, I find that a little unbelievable, but it's okay. Um, what is this? It's the sweater she- no one else owns a pink sweater, come on! You think this was filmed tonight? This is 1999, they can't get it that fast. Yeah, bud, why'd you wait so long? Like, wait, when did that happen, though? Because if that happened, like, before they started dating, then, like, it's bad they didn't tell her, but, like, it's not the worst thing. Yeah, I want to be, like, stay around and listen, but also, like, I get why you have to run. That's, that's completely fair. Wow, I was not getting the vibe from either of them that they would do that. Even though it was not really Isabella, because we never actually saw her. We just saw her sweater, right? Could that have been doctored somehow to, like, get them to start to turn on each other. I know it's like harder to hack stuff back then, but it's not impossible. Oh, I guess it's Luke. Yeah, I was right. Dang. Like, I wonder if he's gonna be an innocent victim or if he's gonna start doing stuff that will like, oh yeah, like dude had to go. And I kind of don't know which one I want more, right? Because they're both intriguing. Like to have to justify why this happened in that like he was a good guy and then they have to justify an accident or something or make it so like he really was not who you, he thought you were. Like, it's just, right? It's interesting. Oh, there she is. Where have you been, girl? I thought you were dead because I didn't see you. Yikes. What does that mean? Well, anything, it's weird because it's almost like you think if something happened that they were involved and they would be expecting this to happen, but she seems completely completely overwhelmed and I get that you could also be overwhelmed with like yeah you're expecting you know one day but like one day doesn't mean today you know but it's still like you would think just like with how like gruff and tough her demeanor is like she would kind of prepare more for this like I said in a bad way but she seems so surprised and overwhelmed by it which again understandable but it makes me think maybe like they had something to do with him going missing but then not knowing like what happened afterwards you know where it's kind of like oh if you're the last one to see him before he went missing then obviously the suspicion's gonna fall on you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that what happened to him was done by them. So, like I said, I have about a hundred different theories running around in my head. Luke being good, Luke being bad, them teaming up, someone manipulating the situation to make it look a certain way. Like, I could see it going 
so many different ways and I'm so excited to see how it plays out. So yeah, if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about them in the comments. Also make sure I give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!